Hey guys, so I thought I would do a quick video because I just it came to my mind while doing my last video about what did I talk about? Oh, carbohydrates. So I thought I'd do a video about um, women doing keto with uh, how low your body fat can go. So I'm sitting around 13% probably with my body fat percentage. Um, it, this light's very diffuse, but you guys can see I'm not vascular, I'm not veiny. You can see there's a lot of fat in the dermis layers of my skin. So I'm not as, I, I don't have this paper thin effect that you would see where people can pull their skin out to here. You don't see that uh, on my body, but you also don't see high levels of estrogen because I don't have like big boobs. Uh, I'm wearing black pants. The bo booty is juicy. There is a percentage of fat in the bo booty. Hello. Um, but there's also really good glute development, which I'll do more videos on how I built my glutes back. People are like, oh, you always had nice glutes. Oh, no, I didn't. They fell after having 10 surgeries on my left knee. But I'm digressing because I want to talk about women with low body fat. Now, the reason why I can be at 13% body fat all the time, and I've even gone down to 12 and even 11, is because I'm eating a high fat diet with cholesterol. So reproductive hormones are made out of cholesterol. So I did not take away a massive building material for my sex hormones. And also my adrenals are totally good to go. They're strong. I takes me five minutes to fall asleep. I dream every night vivid, sometimes lucid. I wake up refreshed. You can see it because I'm, I'm 50 years of age, so you can see it on my skin. You can see it everywhere that I'm not drained. Um, and you can see with my body fat percentage because it's not paper thin. Like you can just like, you can pull on some people's skins like And I see that with girls a lot in my gym who are doing competitions and they're 10 times younger than me because I'm 50 years of age, how paper thin their skin gets because they're just too low body fat and they're also deprived, their body's essentially starving. So they're going into gluconeogenesis. So the size of the muscle, I mean, this is full natty, right? So the size of the muscle is quite girthy because I've, I'm not in a state of having my muscle being eaten down to nothing. Now, they're, they're, when I was 35, I was like, I'm about 126 now, so 35 was like 109 pounds, and I was super lean. But then I was like super gluconeogenic. I was like very catabolic and my body was being eaten up. So you can see you guys that um, this is me at 50. Uh, I have a menstrual cycle that comes almost every, uh, not not almost every 28 days, but almost to the T 28 days. So it's like 27, 29, it's six days long and boom. At 50, if my menstrual cycle went away, I wouldn't have the same type of uh, muscularity and I'd have to protect my adrenals because once your ovaries stop producing reproductive hormones, your adrenals will take over. They, t they produce a lot less of what you, your ovaries um, were pumping out. So it's very important that you protect, protect your adrenals by getting your stress down, your inflammation down, your candida down, your um, getting into REM cycles. So if you're gonna go low body fat, you can go low body fat as a woman as long as you do not eat white rice, chicken breast, and tuna, which is devoid of the building material, cholesterol, and saturated fat to make your reproductive hormones. And then people are going through pregnenolone steel because of too high levels of cortisol, which is robbing from the tree, right? Their DHEA, pregnenolone, DHEA, and then down to their estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. And then women tend to be high estrogen, even though they're producing low estrogen. And then the subjects of a subject of women with polycystic ovarian syndrome running with high blood sugar is another subject. I will talk about that later. And women with hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's, another subject. But I'm just talking about body fat, how I can be low body fat, right? As a woman, if you guys can see. And still and still like be low body fat, but still have like a feminine softness to my body and not be uh, like have nice, good muscle development. As you guys can see, this comes from not being catabolic from actually getting my stress down and breathing and meditating and turning off technology at the right time and not overdoing my muscles or my, my training sessions. I don't believe in training harder, not at 50 years of age. I take my time, I breathe. I, when I start to feel my joints, if I do too many pull-ups, I start to feel it here in my joints. My tendons don't like it at age 50, doing a bunch of push-ups. 
You know, people have this idea like train really hard. No, you got to train smart, not hard. No, especially as you get older, you got to protect those little adrenals. You got to protect the thyroid. You got to protect the inflammation. You got to get the candida. You got to get all of these infections down. You got to really get the liver and kidney to function properly if you're going to get your body fat down low and get ready for competition. Now, I could drop my fat for two weeks and get freaking shredded on keto, but I don't want to do that to my body. That's why I constantly meet people who are like, you should compete, Stephanie, in a fitness competition. And I'm like, nope, never, because I'm just loving how my body is responding and um, I'm getting a text and it's ruining this video. But if you guys wanna learn more, you can go to stephanieperson.com. I'm still writing this book. So all these weird off this, like, like I'm not talking about weight loss. You guys need to fix your bodies first. I'm talking about preserving the cells so the telomeres don't pop off and you get old and get sick and have issues like everyone I meet have issues or are depressed or have anxiety, which should be my next video is about uh, people with anxiety and can keto help heal people with anxiety, poor impulse control, ADD, like all this kind of stuff. Yes, yes, yes. I just did one on kidney disease and keto. But with that said, you can go to stephanieperson.com. You can have a low body fat percentage. I can maintain this body fat and be completely healthy because I'm not starving my body. I'm not in starvation mode. I'm not hypercatabolic. And it's amazing. And I've got some energy. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm out. Life is good. Be waiting for the book. It's going to be amazing. It's going to have a lot of great uh, recipes that hit and address people who've got histamine and issues and dairy issues and all this kind of stuff. And also how to graduate yourself into keto. And then, of course, the science and my experience with working with thousands of people now over the years. 10 years on keto at the age of 50. Um, StephaniePerson.com. Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram. And Stephanie the Business Person on my Facebook fan page. I still run a keto course on my uh, Facebook, which you sign up through my site. And I still do one-on-one -on -one consultations. And I'm out. Until next time or my next live broadcast with questions.